Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm dealing with E equals HC over lambda is to go ahead and use a shortcut that helps to reduce the amount of work I have to do when I'm using this equation. Now, the shortcut applies to the HC in the numerator of this fraction. H is Planck's constant, so that's automatically 6.62 times 10 to the power of negative 34 joules times seconds. And C is the speed of light, or 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. So what I can do here is just multiply out those numbers together, noticing, of course, that this seconds over here cancels with that seconds over there, since that's one on top, one on the bottom, so they just cancel each other out. And when I multiply these numbers together, I get 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25 joules times meters, which is a lot easier for us to use because now there's one less step we need to follow. But I don't want to memorize 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25 because what sort of a shortcut is that? So what I'll do instead is I'll switch my units to something that's a little bit more palatable in terms of these wavelength energy equations that we need to be solving. Joules are going to be replaced by electron volts since electron volts are the general unit used when we talk about the energy associated with photons. And meters are going to be replaced by nanometers since anytime we're talking about the wavelength of a photon, the units of the wavelength are generally given in nanometers instead of meters. So how do we do this? Let's just go ahead and convert. So we have 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25 joules times meters. Now, if I want to get rid of the joules and replace that with electron volts, I will put my conversion factor in parentheses here with the electron volts in the numerator and the equivalent of an electron volt in joules in the denominator. So the conversion factor itself is one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. So 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules is what will go in the denominator of this fraction. So the joules here will cancel with the joules there, leaving me with only an electron volt as my unit of energy, which is exactly what I want. And the other conversion factor that I have to use is the one for the meters. I want to get rid of meters and I want to replace that with nanometers. So the nanometers will become the unit that I keep in my numerator of that fraction there. And the conversion factor itself for nanometers to meters and vice versa is that one nanometer is equal to a billionth or 10 to the power of negative nine meters. So what I'll do in the fraction version here is just put 10 to the negative 9 in my denominator with the unit of meters there so that the meters in the denominator can cancel with the meters that are up here, leaving me with just nanometers. So when I multiply out these numbers all together, I'll do 1.986 times 10 to the power of negative 25 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, but that number there is also being multiplied still in the denominator by 10 to the power of negative 9. So that goes in the denominator as well, and then I'll close the parentheses. And now when I press enter, I'll get a number of 1241.25 EV nanometers, which is a lot easier to remember. But to make it even simpler, let's just round this off to 1240 EV nanometers, and anytime you're dealing with E equals HC over lambda, just use 1240 EV nanometers for that HC in that equation. And that's going to go ahead and make the math a lot easier to do.